Hello ladies and gentlemen, in the previous segment of Let's Play Kirby's Yarn of the Epic Variety, we had done all of the missions for Beedrix and started the missions for Kerry. In this episode, we'll finish all of these missions and we get an Earth character. We are now going to go to the Town of Tubes. Begin the segment. Hey guys, welcome back. What? Okay. Welcome back to Let's Play Kirby 64. As I've already said in an awkwardly smart accent. Oh, hey, wait, wait. Now you get back here, you bastard. Wait. Wait, is he possibly a genius? Well, to get it. No, you bastard. Please <laughs> start that. As I was saying before, I failed. I've decided I'm not going to show my fails. Mine! I actually did it! I don't know how that level's supposed to work, but I did it. I think you just moved at the speed of light. Also, I have a splitting headache right now. So, this episode might not go well. Did I seriously just get the Famicom fabric? That is freaking awesome. Why do I even feel like Big Bean Vine is actually going to be the easiest level to do this in? Oh, never mind. Never mind. I forgot this place slants. So, let's just say balls don't do their best here. Is that myself killed? Oh my gosh, what if it was like a one-hit kill? A kill! In this... Mode. <laughs> Screw society. I don't need to play this game right. Who stated these rules? Also, they start telling you, like, they always tell you where to put her. And it starts getting to the point where it's like, I don't even care anymore. Tempest, you fucking didn't. Actually, unless the wind is turned off, which it most likely is. Nope. Hey, they're actually nice for this. For once, I actually kind of want the winds, because I see just how this will be useful. Oh, I can already see how this isn't going to be useful. All we can do is stay in here. Well, that actually worked pretty well. I'm surprised.
Wait, do I have to do the whole freaking level? No, I do not. <sighs> Very easy when you're not focusing on all the hidden items and stuff. You're just going through the levels. What do we got here? Oh, pink waves fabric, okay. Wait a minute. That's it? Your mission suck. Your mission suck, girl. Funny thing is she's a girl, but anyways, your mission suck. So which apartment? I believe this is the one I want. If it is not the one I want, I will do the other apartment because I don't want to do this one yet. Is this the one? Oh, this is the one, okay. I can tell it's the one. By the style of the room. It's common sense, this is who I want to do the missions of. So is this required? Put it there anyways. Let's just put a uh believe you want do you really want this? Is that what you want? No, it's not what you want. Oh, the, it's this Christmas thing, okay. That is still a pinky pie chair. No, hands down, that is. Also, first time playing this game, I sat there forever trying to figure out what that thing to the left was supposed to be. And this is Buster, that's what I wanted to do with missions of. Because his missions are the best. Because you get to kill enemies. You get to kill enemies. It's all you do. And it's the best. But it does get to the point where the enemies obviously get to like, be like, some become impossible at some point. But also this is the third tower. Or well, third part of the tower. But as you can see, he's gotta kill all the enemies. And it's fun. Yeah. So you kill all the enemies. And it's basically a cool little sound you kill them all, you know? Just what we want. Although the thing is, you gotta violently kill each one of them. Let's grab this door, boys. And that was fun. See, kids? Killing enemies is the purpose of this game now. And he talks like a... He's brown and he talks like a black guy. Nintendo! Please, Nintendo. Stop being racist. They've done this before. Similar Think similar to this, but still. Well, that's not really racist. It's more stereotype. You know what? I just realized by saying that this is a black guy accent, I was almost politically correct. Oh, well, this is entertaining. I did not fall. Also, don't forget those crocodiles are enemies. I almost forgot to say that. You obviously kill them all the fun way. We have a little fun here at this. Also, don't miss a single one of them. I did it! 
I, I enjoy just pulling them apart like that. That's something you never really get to do when you're trying for 100%. And it's like the basic killing method. And it's the most entertaining killing method, too. It's just... You watch as they slowly fall apart. <coughs> Jeez, I got a Waddle Dee theme. I think it's how I get the Meta Knight theme, I think. I am not quite sure. I might already have it. Pyramid Sands. That's cool. Actually, Pyramid Sands is one of my favorite levels, so that's cool. That's really cool. Oh yeah, girl. Why is there a little pert brown thing there? Well, that's one. Is there anyone out here? No. That's good. But seriously, enemy killing is the best freaking. Well, that hurt. But it doesn't matter if you can hurt. Uh, there's only one character really, really matters, and I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Give me that bonus. You want it? It's yours, my friend. Oh, that's my favorite level. Okay. I also know the fact I haven't failed this whole episode yet. Except the first one I restarted it because I didn't know what I was doing, but that was not that doesn't count. I was wondering where the dark <laughs> the countdown just kind of like hid for a while. <gasps> that does count as an enemy. Don't forget that. What the hell? The fucking snail just. Dude! Okay. I'm accepting that as facts. Now, this could be a very useful thing to have. Since you see, he'll basically be your enemy killing slave for grabbing him. Also, finding the enemies is part of the challenge here. That was entertaining. I shouldn't have done that. I knew I shouldn't have done that, but I did it anyways. Oh my god. Who put an enemy there? What is that up on my face? Also, didn't like. No, Chicken Conway didn't do this game. What am I saying? Actually, I don't know any LPR who's done this game in the past while. Like, I think obviously everyone knows that uh, Slim Kirby did it, but Slim Kirby sucks. No offense. No offense, Slim Kirby, but you suck. <laughs> There's a whopping two cents to make up for. Why is. You f Freaking banana! Banana! Banana, I say! Let me restart that. I failed for my first time. Hooray! Okay, let's actually do this. I'm gonna be smart this time. And the first thing we're gonna do, priority wise. Is ignore the bees, that's for sure. Grab this dude. 
Don't care about that. Well, what about the what about the bee? Oh, he actually gives it for me. Okay. lot less enemies. Also, this game, I don't know why, but when I got this game, I thought it was like the best thing ever. Until I beat it. And then something like, I don't know what came over me. I saw it for a while there, it was the worst game ever. And now I think it's the most half-decent game ever. Don't attack me with your spores of death! There it is. Hey! Hey! Where are you running from? Freaking bastard ran! Thank you! Gosh, the challenge is finding the enemies! Oh, goody. The most confusing level of the game. Yay! Happy music. No one loves you, face man. This level is nice. This is a relaxation uh, level. Did it! The music stops. Deep is that Fire! the orange soda? Orange soda? How is that even related to the level I just did? I mean, it was a treat land though, so I guess orange soda is like the worst fucking pop in existence. But we'll pretend it. We'll pretend it's good. It's still the worst fucking pop in existence though. Interesting. Ah, you can. Hey, he's just like, hey, you kidding like crazy. Hi, you can. Hi, you can. Did I really just say hi, you can? I, I don't even play Mortal Kombat. I know you should never say hi, you can. Ouch. Just fucking. Well, I don't hear any more Hayuken birds, so we're good. <laughs> no, it's not! See, look, they're dead. I should be smarter than this. Here goes. It's the freaking Hayuken birds, the freaking Hayukens.
There! Beat it! Jesus Christ! That was louder than it needed to be. <laughs> I am also very hungry right now. What is that theme? The Dan Dan fabric. Oh, Dan Dan's the freaking Hayukin bird. Or as I called it on the Kirby wiki, the pear bird. The pear Hayukin bird. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start like. That's that's what. I'm, that's how I'm gonna be. Like if like you know every LP has that one quote they're always recognized by. Mine's gonna be Hayukin bird. You want to one of these commissions? No, no, fucky, 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 fuck, fuck, fucking fuck. This isn't timed, is it? I guess this is like a one time only for every enemy. Please tell me this is like feeding frenzy. There's just, there's just not, there's just more than you need. Thank you for being a good game. This is very entertaining to kill these bees. These these button bees. Also, I read this little thing about this game. And like supposedly like Miyamoto while he was making it literally played with a piece of fabric in a sewing machine to make it. Like he was like literally like messing with yarn and shit to figure out how it works. That's fucking awesome. See that? See, you don't see the guys who make Call of Duty messing around with sniper rifles to make their game, do you? Ah, oh, fudge! Ah, oh, no! Fuck you. Fucking. Oh, actually, good. I love this level, by the way. Oh my god, who put this level together? Oh my. Holy Jesus! That is beautiful! This level is beautiful! Holy Jesus! Let us actually do it this time. Also, if you really think about it, this game is very realistic. Like, in yard standards, do those exist? I am doing very good today. I am doing- Oh, you fucking followed him! Okay, that's cool. Fucking swordfish. You defeated 15 enemies! Get the money, get the money, get the money, get the money, get the money. Okay, does it count? I don't think it can. Comment section below, does it actually count? Actually, also, comment section below, the episode's over. Put that down and, and you'll get a, a virtual cookie. Like, your account will stay signed in next time you get on YouTube. That cookie's already in your computer. Fuck it, I'll see you guys in the next one.